Hello guys, welcome back to Martial Arts and Fitness UK. In this video, we're gonna do another product review. So this is just an initial unboxing, hence why I've got these two cardboard boxes in the hallway of my house. So this is gonna be a product review for a freestanding punch bag that I'm gonna be using. You're gonna be seeing this quite a lot in my teaching videos that are gonna be coming for the new year. Um, I'm not quite sure how the postman managed to get these two through the letterbox, but they've arrived on time. It did say on the um, delivery instructions that these would probably come along in two separate um, delivery sort of time slots. So if you are ordering this one, I've just bought this one from Amazon, then um, one package will come separate to the other. But actually for mine, they both turned up at the same time. I don't know why, maybe it was Christmas, um, but here they are. Now, the freestanding punch bag that I bought, it wasn't the most expensive bag, it wasn't the cheapest bag, there were quite a few um, on the market, so I just kind of looked on Amazon to see what was out there. I just needed something that I could hit, that I can use as a training partner when I'm doing the lesson videos for you guys when I'm at home, so you're going to see this in the garage. So the first part, we're going to go for the base of the bag, so I've got my safety knife slash keys here to give me a hand. So you are seeing this as I'm seeing it. So I haven't opened this before, so it's a surprise to everybody. And yeah, right, that's that one. So let's have a look. So this should be pretty simple, I should imagine, pretty standard. So we've got a bag of bits in there. So with this one, which I haven't seen before to be fair, is a lot of suction cups. So these screw into the base of the, um, the base. And then this is to stop the bag from moving around quite a lot. So it's kind of sticks to the floor. So I'm gonna look at one of these. So this is gonna be, they're just sort of rubber cups, um, little screw thing there. So this will just screw into the base of the base. And there we go, that's that one. What else have we got in here? So lots of covers, so another rubber, another rubber cover here. And we've got, we want to, let's just take it all out. There we go. So here are the rubber uh, suctions for the bottom. And then, yeah, so a load of bolts. Pretty standard bolts. A load of washers, all the bolts on the go. And then this one, I'm guessing, is just a rubber casing cap for where the two join together, perhaps. So that's the bolts and the washers. Don't lose them. So the main base. Pull this one out. So the box can go over there. So yeah, in a pretty standard bag just to keep it clean and tidy. Ah, yeah, I can't see. So this is the base. Um, so it's all kind of one piece, so obviously these um, suckers will screw into the bottom of the, of the base here, okay? And then the top part, we've got, I'm guessing this is where the, the rubber seal goes in here, so I'm guessing that pops in there like that. Yeah, so that's fine, that'll go in there. So with this one, it says you can fill it with sand, it says you can fill it with water. Initially, I'm gonna go for water just to see how it goes. Um, if I'm finding I'm getting a lot of movement, then I may add some sand as well, uh, just to give it that extra bit of weight to stop it from moving around. As I said at the beginning, I haven't really seen these um, suckers before, so it'll be interesting to see um, how well these do with the, the weight from the water or the sand pushing these down, it'd be interesting to see how well these work and reduces that movement, so that'd be quite good. So on the top of the base, you've got some funky guys here. This is just sort of decoration really, so you've got some imprints of um, different kickboxing kicks, um, or clinches, or sorry, covers. Um, so yeah, there's some little funky dudes around the edge. Um, more screw holes here, so I'm assuming that's where the, the, uh, the hitting part, the punch bag part is going to stick to the base and there's a hole there so it must nestle in and then down we go and that's going to stick the two together. So that's the base, so I'm going to put that to one side back into the box, so that's that one and now I'm going to go on to the, the punch bag, so again separate box, so back to my safety knife. And I'm gonna lay this one down. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I ordered the red 
I don't, I don't really have a preference on either one. I think they come in a red or possibly a black as well. So you could choose from one of two colours. Pretty good. I will get to the price of this one at the end, so I can give you an idea of uh, just how much this will be. Okay. Yeah, I did go for the right one. So. Ah, oh, red slash black. Okay, so that's pretty sad. Okay, so with this one, again, it's got this plastic bag over the top just to keep it protected. Okay, so it's got a fair bit of weight to it. It's not massively heavy, but it might actually tell me on the bag. So it is 12 to 13 kilograms. So, yeah. Not too bad. Okay, so this is the main, you can see that in the video. So this is the main part of the punching bag. So with this one, again, let's look at the base first. So how it attaches to the base. Yeah, so this one's just gonna sit on top and then the nuts in the washers that we've got here, they're just gonna feed through and they're gonna screw into the bottom of that base. So that one will sit in there. So going up from that one, we've got these springs here, so there's another little section here, so I'm guessing that's just to give it a bit more um, rigidity when it's moving as well, to spring back back into place. Um, that's sat on a metal plate with a couple of bolts and then a foam casing around the bottom of the base, so actually, so you don't kick that or hit that um, and injure yourself. So the main part of the bag, it's got punch time at the top. Um, I think that's supposed to be sort of blood there, I'm not quite sure, but there we go. Um, we've got an X on it, I think company is from XN8 Sports. I haven't heard of these guys before, um, but I say I like the look of the bag. I thought the price was pretty good, so I thought I'd give it a bash. Right, so that's it. That's the initial product review and the unboxing of the freestanding punch bag. So I did say to you guys, I'd let you know naturally how much this one costs. So I think the particular product was $129.99. So as I said at the beginning of the video, this wasn't the most expensive punch bag on the market. It certainly wasn't the cheapest one on the market either. It was kind of middle of the range on the price. Um, it looked quite good on quality from the pictures. The reviews seemed quite favorable. Um, one of the main things I was going for when I went for this one was the size of the base. A lot of them, um, I think in order to kind of give it a lot more stability, the base of the products can be massive. I don't, for me personally, I've used them before and I don't overly like them because they, you, you tend to be having to stand really far away from the, from the target area that you're hitting um, because the base is so big and that kind of puts me off a little bit. So with this one, it wasn't too um, kind of wide or sticking out too much from the, from the actual hitting area, which I kind of like. So that was kind of a big, um, a big deal for me. So 129.99. Let's see if it's worth the money. Check out some future videos on this one and I'll give you a more in-depth review once I've hit it a few times. That's it for this video. There are more product videos on the way soon, guys. Thanks very much for watching and see you again.